Welcome, this is your five minute geography lesson. We're covering theme five, element 11, biodiversity. No, I don't want to see your TikTok dance. I'm Mr. S and I'll be your five minute teacher. We need to know what biodiversity is and why it's important. So what is it? Well, a biodiversity is a measure of the variety of plants and animals that live in an ecosystem. So there'll be areas that are really rich in biodiversity, such as the rainforest, and even the savannah grasslands have a rich biodiversity, just not as much compared to the rainforest. But why is it important to have a rich biodiversity? Well, there are two key reasons. The first of all is this idea of endemic species. So endemic species are ones that are only found in that particular ecosystem or that significantly small particular area of an ecosystem. So many places like the rainforest and the savannah will have species of plants and animals that you can find nowhere else in the world. And lots of people would believe that these sorts of endemic species need protection and need to ex avoid exploiting the ecosystem in order to do so. The second reason is that our ecosystems provide key services and they do that through the biodiversity that's available in it. So a key service is something that produces a resource or a service to us as a global community and the planet as a whole. So an example would be providing clean air or water or food for us. So let's have a look at some examples. First of all, in the tropical rainforest. So the rainforest has a really, really rich biodiversity. It is so rich that we're still finding new species of animals and plants in the rainforest today. And one of the most significant things that the rainforest does for us is it regulates our air. So it produces clean oxygen. It's also one of the largest carbon sinks on our planet. It takes in carbon dioxide during the photosynthesis process and produces clean oxygen, clean air for us. It provides resources for us, wood, fuel, natural medicines, fresh water. The medicines that are in our modern Western medicines often come from the resources found, the plants found in the Amazon rainforest and places like it. The rainforest also produces its own rain. 50% of the rainfall in the Amazon and its surrounding area, for example, is produced by the moisture from the transpiration of the trees. And it also cycles nutrients. Its roots are holding the soil in place, putting the nutrients back into the ground, which prevents it from turning into a desert, desertification. On to the savannah. Well, for the savannah, it provides food for the surrounding areas. It provides building materials for the local nomadic tribes, such as the Maasai Mara in Kenya. But probably one of the more significant uh, human services that the savannah provides is the fact that it's a really big tourist attraction. Now, some people would see that as a negative, but it can be a positive as that tourism brings uh, jobs to the local people. It brings money into the economy, which often means that the locals will get a better education because there's more money for people to go to school or to build projects that allow people to go to school as well. Well, that about uh, does it for our lesson today. Why don't you make use of the key services in your geography ecosystem by completing the Try It Now tasks? Class dismissed.